I get it, you want to use a powerful one and done style shotgun in Warzone, but you just can't seem to make it work well. If you've seen me on Twitter, you'll know recently I teased everyone about my new favorite shotgun that just works so well. Nobody really got it exactly, but they were pretty close. This shotgun basically functions as close to what I want from a shotgun in Warzone, which is a good risk to run with some amazing potential up close. No weird inconsistent hit markers and frustrating deaths. And you don't have to be in plunder to make it work, where everyone has one plate of armor or none at all. I want to be able to push with a pump action and do alright, but most engagements just don't really work well with them in actual battle royale. So I wanted to show you guys what I've been using as of late and what is my new favorite shotgun in Warzone. That shotgun is all reliable. You see, the 725 is a shotgun not many people really think about using in Warzone. With slugs, you get those insta headshot downs, but it's tough to use and up close, it can be really damning. With buckshot, there are a few quirks that make it cool, but it generally falls pretty short. The secret to this shotgun is the sawed off barrel attachment, and I'm going to show you why it works so well. So let me show you some stats on it and get into why this shotgun has become my favorite in Warzone for consistency most of all. Now what gives? Why the 725? Well, the seven and a quarter has a niche that is basically the longest two shot kill possible of all the buckshot shotguns. So let's take a look at my spreadsheet, which be warned is very much so a work in progress. And that's right, I'm finally moving on up in the world and using spreadsheets instead of paper like an old man. I have some more ranges to test, but this info should be enough for this video. You can see the 725 can two shot up to about 8.1 meters with no attachments unless you hit the legs. Hitting legs actually does seem to make damage worse and you'll see it'll take an extra shot to kill which with a gun like the 725 which is a two and done you don't want a third most of the time and yes stomach does do slightly less damage at least with some of these heavy hitter shotguns and the difference in damage doesn't seem to be too crazy so it shouldn't really affect time to kill in most cases but if you put attachments on it these ranges are really barely helped and you end up getting about an 8.7 max two shot kill range with something like the choke and the competition barrel the monolithic suppressor basically gives you the same boost as the choke Choke, roughly 4% more range. If you can hit shots well and accurately, try it out. But I recommend avoiding the competition barrel because of the mobility penalties and how slow it takes to aim down sights. Use the base gun with the choke or monolithic suppressor instead. But the problem with this build though is just like the Model 680, the Hauer and the VLK Rogue is it's just hard to make it consistent. You can swear to all that is holy that you hit those shots and those pellets connected, but then they survive the two shots and you're stuck needing a third shot. And and that's really no good. The secret, which isn't really a secret since I've mentioned it before, is in the sawed off barrel. So let's look at that really quick. And it's interesting because it kind of changes the damage. The first thing, the damage does go down. Now it deals about 135 damage per shot, which is basically just enough exactly to take all armor plates off. But when you look at the max damage range, it actually goes up. So from 2.7 meters up to about 4.7, and the damage does go down, but it's still two shots in that range. And this range here, this is where the magic happens because you know what else is neat? Legs do exactly the same damage as the torso with this attachment. So no matter where you hit all over the body, you're gonna get that 150 damage if that pellet connects. This combined with that spread, hitting most of your pellets, you get the most consistent two shot kills from any shotgun in Warzone. And I 100% guarantee and stand by that. Unless your aim is just way off, which is hard to do with this barrel because of the spread, you'll get two shot kills if you are in this range, that 4.7. And I'm telling you, this is really strong. And I've been making it a case to use it more. And I can tell that as long as I'm in this range, bam, bam, they're done. None of that stupid hit marker, hit marker, hit marker, armor breaks, and then you die bull crap that you get with the Hauer. This is really the secret shotgun that I think is just seriously overlooked. In Modern Warfare, it's got that insane hip fire potential, and yeah, it's here in Warzone too. You just need to be up close and personal because again, outside that 4.7 meters, you're gonna need that third shot all the time. But to be honest, with sleight of hand and if you're a good movement player, you can get that third shot off sometimes and you don't really need to be that accurate. It's actually kind of hilarious how good this thing is when I use it. I mean, I feel so confident in my engagements up close and it's really changed the way I've played recently because of that. It's a pocket shotgun that really messes people up. This is one of those cases where having a widespread is actually a plus and unlike other shotguns, this shotgun gets that boost to its max damage range and changes the damage entirely so it functions much better. 
I actually don't prefer the Gallo as much anymore. I know that's kind of heresy, but the Gallo is still amazing. But man, I just always wanted to have this sort of shotgun where you get rewarded for closing that gap with players and hitting your one or two shots, and I finally found it. Now, I knew of it before, but after using it more and more and more consistently on things like Rebirth, this thing is just a blast. And literally, I mean, I know I mentioned this build in a video before, but I really can't recommend it enough if you're looking for that rush of a good, solid, risk-reward type shotgun more so than the others. Generally, I like to use these sort of risk and reward shotguns a little bit more than the spammy shotguns, but in Warzone, you kind of have to use those spammy shotguns like the Gallo and Jack-12 if you want to do really, really well, but this shotgun kind of puts that aside and lets you shine for a little bit. So let's go ahead and check out my build now. So first off, the sawed-off barrel, obviously, then the sawed-off stock, the 5 milliwatt laser for a super fast sprint out time, and sleight of hand, of course, and last, you can use either the choke or the monolithic suppressor. I usually run the choke because the monolithic isn't as satisfying to me, just as funny as that sounds, I just like the sound of the shotgun. But if you're trying to be a little bit more competitive, you probably want to go with the monolithic suppressor. It's probably the better of the two because of the suppression, but I like the choke. You can aim down sights super fast, and the movement speed is also really good for a modern warfare gun. If you compare it to the Gallo, which I did using exclusive aces method for testing movement speed in Warzone, so shout out to him, it took about 3% less time to reach the target at 188 meters than the Gallo did. So you do have a better movement speed. And if you use that 5 milliwatt laser, which you should, you'll have a really good sprint out time as well. And yeah, you can rock the stippled grip tape instead of maybe the choke or monolithic suppressor if you want an even faster sprint out time. But really, I think it's not that necessary since it's already so fast at moving sprint out time and aim down sights i really don't think it's necessary so i'd prefer something like the choke or the monolithic suppressor but at the end of the day this shotgun is amazing and it's my new favorite shotgun i mean i seriously don't want to run the gallo anymore or the origin i know that they may be a little bit more competitive they're a lot easier to use because of how they handle and just the spam ability but this is that shotgun that I've been looking for, where you get up close and personal one or two shots and they're done. That's what I love about it. And the Hauer and Model 680 always fell short for that, with me at least. And as long as you have good movement and good map awareness, I think you can really make this work in pretty much any scenario. But you have to be careful with that reload. Slide of hand is a must. But man, just try it out. I swear, it's so much fun. It's such a blast. And this is my new favorite way to use shotguns in Rebirth and Verdansk. This is my new go-to and I really cannot recommend it enough. But I've babbled on long enough. I've gave you the class setup. I've gave you the stats. So you should be good to go. Please try this out and let me know how you do with it. Let me know what you think. Because at the end of the day, this is a sleeper shotgun no one's using. Get ready for some good movement and some good two-shot kills. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think of this shotgun? Do you use it? Do you ever see it used? Do you like this over the Howard Model 680? Do you prefer it over the Gallo? And with all that being said, I want to see you guys in the next video.